You know what you say when we say, we will liberate the land. There you go. We will liberate the land by any means necessary. We will liberate the land. By any means necessary. We will Hamas is a terrorist organization. It's also the government of Gaza, um, designated by the U.S. State Department, but openly terrorist, doesn't, doesn't hide its terrorist agendas. Um, Hamas means the party uh, of the Islamic resistance, and its goal is the uh, abolition of the state of Israel and the annihilation of its Jews. Um, in the Hamas Charter, the founder of the Muslim Brotherhood, an organization which translated Mein Kampf into uh, Arabic in the 30s, uh, it's quotes in the saying this, Israel will arise and continue to exist until Islam abolishes it as it abolished what went before. Mahmoud al-Zahar, who was the founder of Hamas, said this, there is no place for you Jews among us and you have no future among the nations of the world. You are headed to annihilation. So it's very clear that Hamas's <coughs> intention is to destroy the Jewish state and to annihilate its Jews. The student, Students for Justice in Palestine, which I suspect that many of you here, was created by Hamas. And is David, we reject you, bigotry, and we reject your presence on our campus! Seven minutes. Simon? Seven oh minutes. Off our campus! 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 This month, conservative writer and activist David Horowitz gave a speech at the University of Houston entitled The Terror Network on American Campuses, or at least he tried to give a speech, but it apparently only lasted seven minutes before this happened. The Student Students for Justice in Palestine, which I suspect that many of you here, was created by Hamas. And was David, we reject you, bigotry, and we reject your presence on our campus! Seven minutes. Simon? You reject his presence? How can you reject something that was never up for your approval? And I love how they're set off by a simple fact Horowitz states. 
Yes, Hamas did essentially create and fund the anti-Israel Students for Justice in Palestine, or SJP. American Muslims for Palestine is arguably the most important sponsor and organizer for SJP, which is the most visible arm of the BDS campaign on campuses in the United States, says a 2016 report from the House of Representatives. The group reported giving SJP chapters $100,000 in 2014 alone, and hmm, I wonder what kind of individuals make up American Muslims for Palestine. Oh, you know, just people who gave $12.4 million to Hamas. Members of the donating group Holy Land Foundation started American Muslims for Palestine after the Justice Department sentenced several of their former colleagues for funneling cash to terrorists. Just follow the money, folks. Meanwhile, back at Houston, attacking Horowitz with unsubstantiated ad hominems was losing just a bit of its luster. So protesters moved on to this much more compelling chant. They're not sending their best, folks. Karen Ben Moyle, the president of Young Americans for Freedom, the organization which hosted Horowitz, told Campus Unmasked that she asked the University of Houston police to let non-protesting students in before protesters, but said that she saw a long line of protesters waiting outside and walked into a room full of protesters and some YAF students. She said the university police obviously did not comply with what they had initially agreed to. The YAF president said protesters had been let in before non-protesters, and that the group's signs promoting the event were defaced and torn down. She said the students kept shouting after leaving the room and received no punishment. Ben Moyle told Campus Unmasked that it is illegal for Texas universities to support boycott, divest, sanction movements on state campuses, saying that people tiptoe around the school administration because they are afraid of the pushback from them and from SJP or SJW students. Funny how those acronyms are so similar. Horowitz's Freedom Center alleges that the University of Houston is home to an increasing radical and Hamas-promoting chapter of SJP, citing the school's hosting of the 2017 SJP conference. Houston's SJP hosts annual Israeli apartheid events, complete with an apartheid wall bearing the slogan from the river to the sea, Palestines will be free, which suggests the dissolution of Israel, as well as the assertion that Israel targets Palestinian children for slaughter. The school's SJP and Muslim Student Association chapters also co-hosted Sheikh Omar Suleiman, who has endorsed a third intifada. We reached out to the University of Houston to hear their take, but the school never responded. I'm sure our message just got lost in the shuffle. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock.